Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing another thrift with me video and I haven't done one of these in a while but you guys always seem to like these. I always seem to get a lot of views on these and they're really fun to do and I haven't done one in a while so I have a lot of stuff to share with you guys. But this is gonna be another thrift with me, meaning I'm gonna have some footage of me at Goodwill so you guys can kind of see the things that I saw, the things that I almost bought but didn't and stuff like that and then I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I picked up afterwards. So um, yeah, this is really fun to do. I really enjoy these let me know in the comments below if you like these videos if you think they're interesting um, because I think they're kind of fun and I love thrifting so yeah let's go ahead and just jump in to the footage so you guys can kind of see me shop around and stuff like that and then I will show you guys what I picked up So as always, I start out in the book section because it's at the front of the store and I always look in the biographies, like I said in the last video that I made like this. And I actually found one in this section, which I'll talk about later in the video. Um, but I was looking at the Orange is the New Black book, um, which I always see at Goodwill, by the way. It's like, I always see at least four or just a new black books. And this book, I was really pissed that I saw because I actually bought that for full price at Barnes and Noble like a month ago. And then I saw it at Goodwill for like just a few dollars. I hate it when that happens. Um, and these books I wanted to show you guys. These are the great illustrated classics. Those are amazing for kids. If you have kids that like to read, definitely look into those because I remember reading the Peter Pan one as a child and I absolutely loved it. Um, and then I looked in the young adult section and the, um, what is it, middle grade section, and I actually saw this Outsiders book in an edition that I absolutely love, and it was in like perfect condition for $1.99. I was so tempted to get it because it's one of my favorite books ever, but I didn't because I already own it. But And then I just look in the regular hardback fiction section, and I saw this, What Alice Forgot. Um, Ingrid Nielsen actually talked about this book in one of her videos, and it sounded super interesting, so I kind of thought about getting it, but I didn't. Um, then I saw Outlander by Diana Gabaldon, which is a favorite, obviously. And then after I looked at the books, I went to the kids section, which is always the second section that I go to. And of course, I saw a bunch of denim jackets, which is always like an impulse. I want to buy every denim jacket that I see at Goodwill because I just have this weird obsession with denim jackets for kids. Um, I saw this cute sweatshirt. It has like flowers on it. I love that. And this, I really, really liked this. Um, it's a Lucky Brand jacket. And I actually saw a lot of stuff for the girls this time around. Um, sometimes I have to control myself because the girls don't need that many new clothes, but sometimes you just get really lucky in the kids section. So I was also on the hunt for a new leather jacket because the leather jacket I have that I wear the most right now is actually just kind of outdated. I don't really like it that much. So I decided to look through the jackets and they had so many leather jackets this time around. So I saw a couple from Express and then I saw one from H&M that I really liked. And so I decided to try them on, um, but there was so many. Like this one was really cool with like the white and black. I really like that. This one was cute except for it was too thin. Like it wasn't like an actual coat. This one I thought was really cool. This one's from Express and it had like this wool like material on the front. It was a really, really cute jacket. So I decided to try on like a few of them just to see what I thought about them. So the first one that I tried on actually was an H&M one and it fit me the best. Um, I really liked this one and I thought it looked high end kind of while also still being, I mean, it's not real leather, but I really, really thought that one was cute. It fit me really well. And then the next one I tried on was actually my favorite as far as like how it looked. I preferred this one out of all of them looks wise, but it was just too small. Like the sleeves were too small. Um, and then this is the third one. And I actually really, really liked this one. It was just a little too big. This arms were too big. And I hate it when my jackets have really, really baggy arms. And this one was a little bit too big in the arms. And then I went to the shoe section. I saw these cute boots. These were Jessica Simpson, not my size though. Um, but I don't always find shoes at Goodwill. Sometimes I have luck, but I've only bought shoes at Goodwill like twice. And a lot of times they're just in really poor condition. So I don't really ever find too much there. Um, I scanned the purses a little bit and then I went to the home section and I've actually been kind of on the hunt for some new organizing things for Elena's art supplies. It's just, I can't find anything that works. I've tried some different things in the past, but it never seems to work. Um, this I actually really liked. This is like a wine holder, but I thought it'd be really cool for Travis's Copic markers to organize them. And I almost bought it. I kind of wish I did, but 
yeah, I thought it would be really cool. And then this I thought was really funny, a big giant gold E. You don't know how tempted I was to buy this, seriously. Like, what are the chances I find a giant gold E for Emery? Um, but she already has her name on her wall in letters, so I decided to pass on it. Sometimes when I go to Goodwill, I'm really tempted to buy things, but you really have to be aware of whether you're buying something just because you like it or whether you're buying something because you need it. And so I always have to like ask myself those questions because it's really easy to buy things that you don't really need. Um, and then I always look for candle holders. I didn't really like these ones because they weren't white. I prefer white candle holders. Um, those were cool, little marble, like, what do you call those, cup holders? I thought this was really cool, like with a big bookshelf, like if you have a giant bookshelf or something like that, I thought that would be really cool um, for like a display item. Um, I saw these cute candle holders. I thought those would be cool for like an outdoor area. They always have a ton of like wrought iron stuff at my Goodwill. And then I was looking at lamps. I'm actually kind of in the market for a lamp because the lamp in my living room is broken. All right guys, so first I'm gonna show you what I picked up for my daughters. I always find so many good clothing pieces for uh, my daughters at Goodwill. Elena's seven, Emery is four, and they just have really good selection a lot of times. Sometimes I don't find anything, but I swear Goodwill is such a great place to find kids' clothes. So I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up for kids' clothes. So as you guys saw, this little jacket, this lucky jacket, I thought this was so Adorable. This was $7.99 and it's a little bit more spendy than what I would normally spend for something at Goodwill. But the reason I got this is because she has a lot of jackets. This is for Emery, by the way. She has a lot of like hooded jackets that are just, they're hand-me-downs from other people and they're just in really bad condition. And so I do wanna just donate those and kind of keep this one around. Plus this one is like really, really thick. It has like a furry, fuzzy lining inside. So it's like really, really soft. And then the sleeves have like a coat lining. So it's like a silky coat lining. So this is almost more like a coat than a sweatshirt, which I think is really nice. And I love this little flower pattern on the sleeves. I just think this is a really nice jacket and it's in extremely good condition. The next thing I picked up was this shirt for Elena, kind of dressy. So if I want to dress her up a little bit, I can put her in this. And it's from the children's place. And it is this cute little paisley print shirt and it has like clear sleeves they're like kind of translucent and then it has a lining in the middle like a purple lining and this is really adorable with like black leggings and her brown boots it's a really cute little outfit and then like a fuzzy vest elena has a fuzzy vest and i just think this is really cute it's fun and it's a little bit more on the dressy side and plus it's long sleeve so it works really well for like fall and winter seasons which is what we're in now so next up is this adorable adorable sweater this might be one of my favorite things i've gotten at goodwill in a long time because i just think it's so cute and this is by carter's and it's a 4t and it's this adorable little fox sweater a pink fox with a little flower, and it's a nice, thick, well-made sweater. It's in like perfect condition. I swear it hasn't even been worn. And I just think this is the most adorable sweater I think I've ever seen. And yeah, with like little leggings and little boots, I think it's adorable. So and I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up for myself. I have three things to show you guys. And I wear a lot of sweatshirts, like when I am dropping off the kids at school or if I'm just having like a really lazy day, a lot of times I'll just wear like sweatshirts and leggings or like just plain jeans and like a sweatshirt just because it's really comfortable and really easy to wear. And so I saw this there. This is Warm Essentials. I don't know what brand that is, but I thought this was adorable. It's this like cowl turtleneck. So as you can see, there's like a cowl neck kind of here and it has two little strings. So it's gonna kind of like bunch up right here. And it's just a black sweatshirt, long sleeves. It has a nice like band around here, like a really thick band. So that'll be really cute, but I really like the cowl neck. I think that's gonna be really cool, all scrunched up around my neck, and I think it's gonna fit me perfectly as well. Next up is this shirt. This is actually by Ann Taylor Loft, but this was in super, super good condition when I found it. Almost looked like it had never been worn, and it is just a black long sleeve shirt, which is, you know, totally me. But the cool thing about this shirt is it has this paneling in the back, and it's a kind of like, what is it, satin? <laughs> is that what that is? Silky, satiny feel, like paneling in the back that kind of goes halfway up. 
and then it kind of wraps around to the front at the bottom. So the thing I like about this shirt is it's very casual looking so you can wear it on a really casual day with like jeans if you want but because it has like this really nice satin type of paneling in the back you could wear it for a more dressy occasion if you wanted with some like really nice gold earrings something like that. So it's dressy but casual which is like totally up my alley. So next up is a leather jacket. So as you guys saw in the footage, I um, tried on a bunch of leather jackets and I've actually kind of had a leather jacket on the mind. I have a leather jacket that I probably worn for like three years or four years even. I've had it forever and it's literally the only leather jacket that I wear. But the thing is, is I'm bored of it. Like I've literally had that leather jacket for so long. It's kind of outdated. I just don't like the style of it as much as I used to. And I've just kind of had it on my mind to get a new one. And I actually look at Goodwill a lot for leather jackets and sometimes they have none. They have zero cute jackets and sometimes they have a million cute jackets. Like I have a lot of luck at Goodwill for jackets, but this specific time there were so many good leather jackets. And so I was trying them all on and there was a bunch of cute ones. So I ended up getting this H&M one right here. And you guys saw me try it on in the video. Um, this actually isn't real leather, but it looks like real leather. Like I'm surprised that this isn't real leather, but it isn't according to the tag. But it really blows me away because it's very, very, very real looking leather. Um, or faux leather. But the thing I liked about this is it's in it's really good condition, it's really well made, and it looks expensive, you know what I mean? Like it's not one of those cheap, cheesy looking leather jackets. And I also like this because of the motorcycle quality to it. I like the zippers. And what I was really wanting in a leather jacket, this was like on like my checklist for things that I wanted in a leather jacket, was the striped quilting along the shoulders and the sleeves. And this had it, so I was really excited about that. I just really like that look. And yeah, I liked the hardware on it. But this one looks very expensive and very well made and I just think it's so cool. I love it. It is exactly what I was wanting. So the next thing I picked up was this. This is a little candle and this was $2.99. But the reason I picked this up is because I liked the um, holder that the candle is in and I thought I could reuse this for when I make my own candles. I'm always looking for new candle holders that I can make my candles in. And so I picked this up because I love the candle holder part. So when I'm done burning this, I can actually just reuse it and put my homemade candles in it. Um, but this just smells like vanilla. I mean, it's nothing really that special, but I do plan to reuse this and that's kind of why I bought it. Love it. I think it's gonna look so cute on like my coffee table. So next up is books and you guys know I always get my books at Goodwill and so I found a bunch of books recently there and so I wanted to share these with you guys really quick. I won't talk about them too much, but I did want to share these because I know you guys like to see what books I get at Goodwill. So the first book that I picked up was this one. This is A Stolen Life by JC Duggard. Now I recently just read My Story by What's her name? Oh my god. Why can't I remember her name all of a sudden? Oh my god, why can't I remember her name? This is annoying the crap out of me. I should know her name. Elizabeth Smart, that's what it is. If you guys don't know who Elizabeth Smart is, she was abducted from her bedroom, I think at 13, and she was held a hostage by this man named Mitchell and his wife for like seven months or something like that. It was such an interesting book and so I saw this one. This is J.C. Duggard's story and J.C. Duggard was held captive for like 18 years which is insane and this is just her story of what happened and how she got abducted and I just think it's going to be really fascinating and this has been on my Goodreads um, TBR for a very long time so I'm really excited to read this. Then I picked up Diana Gabaldon's Outlander and I am obsessed with wanting to watch Outlander. Like every time I see the previews for it or anything like pop up on my Facebook feed, I'm like, oh, that show is right up my alley. But I don't wanna watch it until I read this book. Now, I don't think I'm gonna continue on with the rest of the series. I might, it depends on how much I like this one. But every single book in the series is like, ridiculously long and I've heard that you can just read this first one and really really enjoy it and you don't necessarily have to continue on with the series if you don't want to but this one is really good the first one so I plan to on reading this and then once I'm done with this if I don't want to continue then I'll start watching the show and I'm so excited the next book I picked up is Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma and if you guys remember when I was talking about Stolen by Lucy Christopher in one of my past videos um, I said I liked taboo books, like books that kind of make you question yourself, 
kind of make you question your emotions, kind of make you a little bit uncomfortable. Um, they just kind of open up your worldview a little bit in kind of a weird, unique way. Um, that is what I love about books. I love books that are just a little bit on the taboo side. And this book is actually a love story about <laughs> a brother and a sister that fall in love. And I know that sounds really weird, but I heard that it is so well done. Like when you wa read this book, you're like, oh my gosh, like why am I rooting for this couple? Like, and then you're so sad. I heard it's one of the saddest stories ever. And it's just like a really interesting concept. Like I'm really interested to see how the author does with this because apparently it's really well done. Like apparently you're just like, wow. The next book I got was Jerry Spinelli's Stargirl. This is like just a book that is very popular and well known. Like everybody knows of Stargirl and I've actually never read it. It's a very tiny book, so I'll probably read this fairly soon. Um, but I've heard that this is really, really, really good. I think it's about a girl who's kind of different and unique and she goes to school and everyone kind of forces her to suppress her uniqueness or something like that. Uh, Leo urges her to become the very thing that can destroy her, normal. I think this is kind of about like embracing your uniqueness. I think that's probably like the moral of the story. It's like embrace who you are, embrace your abnormalities and your uniqueness. Next thing I saw, you guys saw this in the footage. This is Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. And this is a book basically about creativity. And I'm a very creative person. As you guys know, I love creativity. And so I thought this would be right up my alley. I've heard nothing but great things about this book. Um, so I plan to read this someday. Who knows when? I do want to read it because I think I would find it very interesting. But this might be one of those books that I kind of read while I'm reading another book. You know what I mean? Like I'll read this while I read like a fantasy or something like that. Like just kind of slowly pick my way through this book whenever I feel like reading it type of thing. So the next book I picked up was Mermaid by Carolyn Turgeon. And to be honest with you, I already read this and I really like this. This is basically a spin on Disney's, well not Disney's, I guess it would be more Hans Christian Andersen's version of The Little Mermaid. And I've only seen the movie The Little Mermaid. I've never read the original Hans Christian Andersen version, so I don't know how similar the movie is versus the original, so I don't know how much this um, is similar to the original. So this is very similar to the movie. So it's a similar plot line to the movie, but she changes some aspects up to this that makes it really, really interesting. And the cool thing about this book that I liked was she tackled some aspects of the movie that we all cringe at. Like, you know how we're all kind of like, Ariel, like why did you give up everything for a man you literally met one time? And we all kind of think that, and I think that this book, she kind of touches on that idea, not like outright touches on it, but kind of in like these little subtle ways. And it also is really interesting because it kind of touches on like falling in love with the idea of somebody versus falling in love with somebody. And I think that that's a really cool kind of thing she worked in here as well. Um, I thought this was a really good book. I thought it was super enjoyable and I thought it was a very unique spin on The Little Mermaid. That is it you guys for my Goodwill haul. I found a lot of stuff for the kids. I found a lot of books. Um, I didn't really have a ton of luck with home decor this time around, but you never know what you're going to get at Goodwill. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though there wasn't a lot of home decor. I know some of you guys really like that kind of stuff too. But um, yeah, let me know if you guys want to see more of these videos and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!